Hey guys, what's up? We have got a very interesting um, update from Rockstar Games for GTA 5 and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> it's something that I wasn't expecting. And, uh, it's about one step off of a GTA 6 leak, to be honest with you. Um, as we look at what's in store for the Rockstar Games community in the weeks and months ahead, we'd like to take this opportunity and thank everyone for their unmatched enthusiasm and commitment to all our titles it's our it's your support that drives us to keep pushing towards forward with everything we do and we are excited to share with you the first details around upcoming updates and more with more players than ever taking the streets of los santos thanks to the recent event recent launches of on ps5 and xbox xs We'll be working to improve the overall GTA Online experience with new gameplay updates, adding talk community, requested experience improvements, and upgrades to make it easier for players to enjoy everything GTA has to offer. In just a few short weeks, a new update is coming to GTA Online on all platforms that will expand upon the criminal careers of executive biker, gun runner, and nightclub owner alongside a set of contact missions that present the opportunity to be sworn in as a special IAA field operative to investigate a budding criminal conspiracy. I don't think there are any conspiracies in GTA 5 to be honest with you. As far as I know they're all true. This update will also feature some changes that have been long requested by the community such as reducing the effectiveness of homing missiles and countermeasures on the Oppressor Mark II. Got killed by a few of those yesterday. Offering a more convenient way to access snacks and armor which is up pain he has to do in general and the ability to level on cell missions in invite only sessions <laughs> when I read that I couldn't believe it I made it down this far before I started recording I'm like really Dear, these are just a few of the experience improvements that will be coming this summer to GTA Online as we continue to incorporate more player feedback and other learnings moving forward. We'll also be increasing some of the GTA dollar payouts throughout the game to reward players for their time, regardless of what they choose to play. With such a wide range of things to do in GTA Online, we believe that, in tr that increasing these payouts will allow people greater freedom to do what they like and get what they want faster. Bodyguards, Associates, and MC Presidents and MC members will see payouts increased to encourage and reward cooperative play along with increased GTA payouts across a variety of activities. Plus our continued commitment, commitment to specially curated seasonal events, additional bonuses and gifts, community challenges and other surprises for players will ensure that Los Angeles remains as dynamic and unpredictable as ever. I'm not going to read the uh, Red Dead Online part because I could, you know, literally not care about that game. I, it's not something that I uh, do anything with, so. Um, we won't, uh, we won't go into that, but uh, there's a lot um, to uh, decipher in that one. Most most importantly, being GTA is far from dead. Um, even I've noticed just how alive the uh, community is from, uh, you know, just being on the Xbox and stuff for GTA for the new game and uh, like for the expanded one and. It's insane because for minute one there were full lobbies everywhere. You could not get into a lobby that had less than full people in it. There was you you couldn't do anything with them because everyone was everything. Um, made becoming a VIP hard as hell. Um, but the amount of stuff that these developers have managed to put into this game is absurd. And It just tells you if the fans are rounded, so are the developers. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, so. <sighs> Keep me lying. Um, so. I'll see you guys later. Share your comments below.
Peace out.